Hello, 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 Eddie here, recording. A special message to all my fans and everybody in the country and the world. If you're an ecologist and you want to save the planet, I have a very, very simple idea. Anybody can do it. All I'm looking for is a, a company that can manufacture the equipment required. <laughs> the uh, the thing is making alkaline and carbon and lead, zinc carbon lead batteries last five times longer. At least, maybe longer than that. But <clears throat> I've actually made an alkaline battery last five times as long. <clears throat> and I don't think the manufacturers of batteries and that will be very happy about this, you see, because they lose a lot of sales. Now, unlike uh, rechargeable batteries, alkaline batteries carry a voltage of 1.5, which is very handy because you get 3, 6, 9, 12 from it. Now, rechargeable batteries are only 1.2 volts, and a lot of equipment I found having trouble with them is the fact that they <coughs> don't always work. And uh, the other thing about uh, um, rechargeables, when they're working, they're working. And as soon as they're finished, they won't do anything. Whereas uh, a alkaline, which is better than the carbon one, by the way, uh, will gradually get bad. And then you have trouble when that drops down to 1.2 volts, because all batteries fall in voltage <laughs> as they get older. Right. That's the expla explanation. Right, now this is the answer. Have any of you got these fancy garden lights that are blazing away all night everywhere? That's got rechargeable batteries in them, and they charge up during the day, and then at the night the light comes on and lights your garden up. Well, that exactly same thing can make your alkaline batteries last at five or six or even ten times as long. They will only give up when the chemicals inside eat through the outer casing. And that's all you got to watch for. If you see that there's any leakage, then you have to dispose of them. But uh, I've, I've done it as up to five times, um, and I'm still using the batteries that have done up to five times. So work that out, because it means twice as long as a, as a, a Duracell. Now, funny enough, it doesn't work very well with Duracell batteries. <laughs> oh, I like to take on big companies. Um, so, I hope people will see this and get round to it. Anyway, I'm now going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, and all you people who have got these garden lights, all you need to do is get them and bring them in. Now, the manufacturers of the equipment I want made, as I say, I'm 78, I'm too old to do it. If I was in my 20s, I'd be starting my own business doing it. I thought about trying Dragon's Den, but they're so thick, they never seem to understand how important it is. Right, this is what happens. If you get one of your lights and bring it indoors and take the battery out and put alkaline or carbon battery in, and unfortunately at the moment it's very difficult to charge up because you have to put it out when it's daylight and bring them in when it take <laughs> take the battery out when it's dark but i worked in a way that if um, they make the cells enough for four batteries and uh, four aa and four sp or four triple a I've had to modify these. Now, these are the things I'm talking about. Now, you can see the light there. It, it goes on and up. When the light is on it, it's off. That means it's charging. When you cover the, your hand up, it means it's not charging. So, unfortunately, that didn't work very well because of the light. <laughs> but you can see that I'm trying to, there, you can see that light on there now, can't you? Uh, 
As soon as the light comes on it, it goes out. Take my word for it. <laughs> as soon as it goes under the... Why won't it bloody show it on my webcam? Damn cheap rubbish. Made in China, that's the trouble. All this, i got a microwave with all the enamels, enamels flaking off. It is exactly one month over the guarantee. And what they don't know is that you can still get your money back because <laughs> it's not fit for purpose. They tell you you mustn't do potatoes and anything with water in you mustn't put in them. The bloody things were designed to cook those sort of foods. Anyway, get on with this. I'll talk about that later. Uh, You can see the light on there. Can we see it go off? The, yeah. Plastic. The trouble is, this is just a bloody caravan with... Anyway, that is it. Take my word for it. I've had to modify the spring on these a bit in order for them to take a AAA battery. Because they're designed for an AA battery. Anyway, there is the answer. Now, you may have heard stories about batteries exploding when they've tried to charge them in the charger. Well, the reason for that is because those chargers charge them too fast. Now, this unit, if somebody will build it for me, will, it will probably take as long as a week to fully charge the battery because it works out that for every hour you charge them you get an hour of use. Get me? But <coughs> that if you've got a unit that's not like these that lights up at night and discharges them, put it in your dining room window <coughs> and when the sun's out it'll be charging up and when at night you've got your lights on in your room they will do it. It's as simple as that. Or, alternatively, you can just leave them outside all night and just go out at the end of the week and bring them in because, or in the port, I use the port. I've never had an explosion. You won't have an explosion because the charging is too slow. It's only when you rapidly charge a battery that it will explode. But the only thing you have to watch out for, if you see any leakage, it's finished for. Get rid of it. In a proper way, by the way. Uh, that means taking it to a shop where you bought the battery in the first place. Probably three years ago. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Um, what else was I going to say? Because you know I don't write anything down. Anyway, if you have got these lights and you want to try this out, and you've got a, black, a, a dud, a couple of dud AA batteries probably working your remote control or something, put them in these first thing in the morning and remember which I keep forgetting to do take them back in at day, uh, dark now we've just had most of the summer and that is really the best time to do it you see because the days are longer <laughs> and uh, put an ordinary battery that you know is dead in one of these ear lights and put it out in the, the sun or daylight or in your window Put, yeah, if you don't want to risk putting it in your window in case it will damage the window put it out in the garden so there's really no danger is there if you put it away somewhere <laughs> anywhere, anywhere it can get daylight that's all about, on your windowsill will do and uh, that will recharge that battery and you can use it again I got batteries here all over the place some of them will no longer charge because they started leaking but they've all been used at least five times before that happens I've probably lost count of how many times though. But the beauty of it is, if you have rechargeable batteries, you are doing nothing for the ecology. Because when they're flat and you recharge them, you have to put them on the mains electric to charge them up. <laughs> now, this here charger that I want to design would also recharge rechargeable batteries. <laughs> and I think they would recharge a bit more. But also, they would cost nothing to recharge. Because you're using the jolly old sun. It's no wonder the ancients uh, worship the sun. Because it gives you everything. Anyway, that's it. And uh, 
the reason I put this up here now, um, uh, because it'll be time stamped and dated, and YouTube will be my proof, my copyright proof, that I invented it. Now, I didn't invent these bloody lights, or solar panels, <laughs> and all that. But, so, but it's still classified as an invention as for using something as a different method. The same thing applies to my 3D system, which nobody takes any notice of. I watched all the Olympics in 3D, and when I say that to somebody, they laugh like hell, they just don't believe you. But when I explain to them exactly how it works, they seem to understand. It's no different to learning French, or German, or Spanish. Your brain can learn anything, and your brain can learn to turn T 2D into 3D. If a stupid computer can do it, why can't you? You've got the best computer in the world in your head. I've been going on a bit, and I hope you've watched all of this, and I would like to thank you very much for following my program. I'm trying to work out how to get more people to... I should... I think I should ought to learn to, how to join groups, so then information will be passed from one to the other and so on. But I've done everything on my own. And I've still got over a mil half a million hits. <laughs> and I've got 147 subscribers and I've got 170 followers. I don't know who they are. They call me up on Skype and say they want to, want to be a contact and I click yes. I think half of them are prostitutes out of my body. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to do another one about my... 3D system, just to make sure that everybody knows about it. Oh, um, while I'm talking about my ideas, I don't know if any of you that's watching at the moment has seen, by going to uh, medical advice, has seen my videos about AIDS and cancer, um, and if you look at the time date stamp, you will see it was 1912, uh, 2012. <laughs> And they're now announcing they have a cure for cancer. They have a pill that will boost the immune system. And I said at the time, all they need to boost the immune system is two pill, uh, is one pill for boosting the system, and one to do the opposite. Because things like um, allergies and uh, and things like that, those sort of things. That is the reverse of what being weak is. If you've got a weak immune system, it can't attack things. If you've got a strong one, it starts attacking things you shouldn't attack. So in other words, you know, say, say you, uh, with me, it's milk. If I drink milk, I've just belched and relched all up. I've never been able to. Maybe that's why I've lived so long. Because uh, the fattening cream and that, my dad, he killed him. He used to eat cream for a pastime. You know the old Cornish Watsons with a great dog of coffee cream. I make a cream and it tastes tastes just as good, good. And it is 70% olive spread. And the 30% is 15% coffee white there and 15% <laughs> icing sugar. And if you're diabetic, you'll find that that works out that if you have a cream bun, um, which is ordinary bread, um, which I do with it, you'll find out, oh, oh, and there's lemon juice in it, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, that's good for you too, there's more vitamin C in lemon juice than any other juice. And uh, that's about it, this really ought to be a lot of videos, didn't it, but I'm sorry, I, I keep going on. I have to say things when I remember them, otherwise I forget them. But there you are, there's that. One there has been charging and cover it up, cover it up, the light comes on, put it there. Can you see that? You see the light going on and off? The lighting's terrible here, but you, you, you might be able to see it. Yeah, I think you can. When the light catches it, that, that means it's charging, so the light goes out. And then when you take it away from the light, it goes on. Yeah, you can see that clear spell. There you are then, goodbye then. Um, yeah, make use of the jolly old soul. And if you stop to think about it, 
think how much it's going to save the planet. Instead of buying five alkaline batteries, you only need to buy one. As I say, the only people who are going to be up on that be are the makers of the batteries. Mind you, if they were smart, they would start manufacturing my chargers. Um, because they'll all try to pinch it from me and say, uh, oh, it's a different invention or all that. Well, here's one for them. I won't even charge them. But I do want acknowledgement. That's the all I want. Because people, I come out with these smart ideas and people laugh. And I, I've seen stuff that I've got up there. And every so often I get a... I did, I did guitar lessons and they, they were laughing at them. And, and, and then somebody put on it, on there, you won't believe it, but I can play this now. <laughs> I said, well, I'm, I'm not surprised because I put it simply. You, and some of these people that call themselves guitar tutors, all they're doing is showing off their own playing skills. <laughs> not all of them, some of them are, give you, teach you, but they don't keep it simple enough for the, for the beginner. I guarantee to you that anybody who started with my guitar tips and followed them from one through to seven or whatever it is. They could play in a group and be good. But I have awful trouble organizing that sort of thing. I'm trying to put, you know, the, uh, I've got more, I've got more categories than most people have got videos. <laughs> it's a bit like a, a bit like a TV studio, you know. Things on travel and things on guitar and things on I did when I was young and oh well I'm gonna enjoy a cigarette now. Finally, my doctor got me to change my medication from the mouth. I was taking Bongella. Not supposed to say that, but I am. And uh, he tried. He said, "This Corsidol is wonderful." Uh, so I bowed to his experience and said, "I'll try it." And it was rubbish. It wasn't. A, it wasn't so good as warm salt water. <laughs> and I, I've gone back to the Bologi, <laughs> the Bongilla, uh, and it's getting better. The reason is, Bongilla leaves a thin, thin film over the inside of the cheeks, and that <laughs> after after it's you know. And that protects it, because what happens to me is every time I eat, I wind up with a sore mouth afterwards. I even gone without any food until five o'clock in the afternoon, and none the night before, just to see if I could get it deal up. But it, the trouble is, I would have to go on a drip for a week or something, and then once it's healed up, it'd be all over. But I can't get doctors to understand that. Anyway, I must say goodbye now. Cheerio!